my name is Marianne Oaks and I'm the complex abdomen specialist at Regions Hospital in St. Paul, Minnesota. And I have a passion and a love for fistulas and also complex wounds. And so today we're talking about a new dressing that 3M KCI has put out. It's called the Cleanse Choice Complete. And if, if you know the Cleanse Choice, it is actually fused. The Cleanse Choice comes in three different pieces and is gray. This is actually all fused together so that it's just one. And I'm going to show an application on the sacral area of a person. And so this is my YouTube channel. And if you want to subscribe, we will send you updates on when new videos are made. And I'm going to do a presentation that kind of shows the application and then actual demonstration, which is kind of fun. And my partner in crime is Barb Carlson. She's our local 3M KCI rep, and she helped me out greatly. So here we are. We're looking at this new blue installation dressing. It's called Cleanse Choice Complete. It's a, this is a sacral or posterior application in a, that you'll be seeing. But first, we're going to go through some new stuff that we have. So the foam updates are we all know our black foam and our white foam, which is impregnated with saline that you can put over like tendons and other things you don't want them to dry out in tunnels. There's installation foam that we actually have taken off our shelves. It looked like the black foam, but it was the kind you could put fluid through. And then the cleanse choice is the foam that I was talking about, the gray one, it comes in three pieces. And so you can use the pieces in different areas. <clears throat> and then this is the ad there is the intra-abdominal foam dressing. This is the new one that we're going to do today. And then of course there's the incisional ones. There's new drape as well. So we all know our old standby 30 by 26 acrylic drape. Then the installation drape is a little bit smaller, but still acrylic. And then there's the new hybrid silicone and acrylic drape that you'll be seeing in this presentation. Let's not forget that they also have new negative pressure ports. So here's the sense of track. And then in a large dressing, whether it be cleanse choice or the cleanse choice complete, you're going to have an installation port that is separate from the negative pressure. And then in the medium kits, they're actually one together. So there's installation on one side, negative pressure on the other, which makes sense. If you have a smaller wound, you wouldn't have as much room for two different ports to be put. They also sell these two separately and without foam. And we put them on our shelves because a lot of times, even though we could use a medium foam, we want to have installation and negative pressure separate, especially if the wound is really dirty and you have a lot of stuff coming out of it. The combination one might have more blockage alarms. And if you have them separate, it works pretty good. And, and then of course on posterior wounds, and that's why you'll be seeing an example of that right now. So here's a patient that was in Cleanse Choice and we switched him over to the new Cleanse Choice Complete. So this is actually that silicone hybrid drape. They call it Dermatac. We're still putting barrier rings around where we're going to instill. We're running the bridging across the skin and putting the other wounds into the vacuum system itself. So it ends up looking like this. So this is why even if we wanted a medium foam, we would, we would call for those extra ones because we want to put the port right at the site of the wound rather than up here and have the, all the fluid come down. So this is the negative pressure port and this is the installation port. And this is what it looks like when it's deployed. Now at this point, we usually put big Mepilex border dressings over the top to not only offload pressure, but also to help the wound vac stay in place. And then a lot of times we'll tape this little guy down with any extra drape that we have. So this looks like on removal day, you can see here's the Mepilex border dressing that we have on there just to protect that wound. And then just taking it down, this Dermatech drape comes down very nicely. The patients love that. This is our first posterior wound. And so we put the holes of the cleanse choice against the skin. And in hindsight, we are like, you know what? We don't want to do that again. So in our demonstration, I'm going to show you how we figured out how to bridge without putting the holes against the skin. And you can see that dressing did a great job in the wound because it's fused. And so we didn't know how it would react, but it worked really nicely in the wound itself. So the learning points on this is that we want to use a separate track pad and installation port anytime we're doing anything in the posterior side so that you can put your installation directly over the wound. The hybrid silicone and acrylic drape works great on, for the bridging and the blue installation foam. We should put flat side down towards the skin. And then at the end, you can cut out an extra piece and put circles to circles so that you can still put your track pad on a flat surface. You'll be seeing an example of that right now. We're doing oh. cleanse choice completely smart install. I like to put a barrier ring down after I prep the wound. 
going to drape along the edges. I'm hanging the drape over the edge because it has less pain on removal and it helps you to get your seal. And then we're going to cut the foam so it fits with the holes down. This is the new cleanse choice. And then we're going to put our bridge off to the side. Holes up, not down, up. And then just for a little bit more space, we're gonna put that like that. And then we're gonna put holes against. And you wanna cut a big hole. We put installation directly over the wound so we don't have to use as much fluid, decreases leaks, and also gets the fluid to where it needs to be, and then we run it right up the track bed. It calculates the fluid for you. It's a thousand ml canister. Yeah, oh. put that in. Thousand ml. Otherwise it won't go. And mm. then is this new? Yes. And then next. This is gonna take up to two minutes. Um, Alright, so 38 so ml. And you don't have to start it, it just automatically will go. So with the Smart Instill, it goes, instill, it soaks for 10 minutes, you can't override it. It pulls off the fluid, and in another minute, it'll instill another 38 cc's. It gets you to a saturation point. This is where you can change your therapy if you want. Like if you didn't want to let it soak for 10 minutes, you could change it. If you don't change this within the 10 minutes, it's going to be 38 mLs, 10 minutes soak, and still every two hours. Those are the default settings. So now it's going to sit there for 10 minutes. So that's the end of the new Blue Sacral application. And I hope you enjoyed the demonstration and learned from us. We made all the mistakes you can make. And so, Thank you so much for coming on to the YouTube show. If you subscribe, of course, you'll get some updates. Otherwise, have a great Fistula Fun Friday. Bye.